Army 2016 take <laughs> So this year, Sarah and I did become parents of a teenager. Michaela turned 13, Olano's 10, so they've grown up so much. These next couple of years, as we deal with one teenager and move eventually into having two teenagers, it will get interesting like everybody's been telling us throughout all these years. For my birthday, Sarah surprised me uh, by arranging to have me be able to go up in a glider um, for the first time in my life. So that was great to be able to do and to have, be surprised by it. It was just an incredible feeling being up soaring with, with birds and in the clouds. And I'm continuing my tradition of the, having a garden a few miles from the house here. This year I did get to learn how to drive a tractor. I was able to take the wheel and try to learn how to operate the controls and the gears. And my asparagus patch continues to produce pretty tasty asparagus. And for a new addition this year, Sarah really wanted to do popcorn, so we grew a patch of uh, popcorn, and it turned out to be some pretty tasty popcorn. And next year, I think we're going to grow even a bigger amount because we went through it so quickly. And we were also able to get together as the Repetta family for uh, my cousin Anna's wedding. It was fun to all get together and catch up with everybody there and see how everybody's grown so much. And that was just a fun time that we had by all. In November, my mom was turning 70, so we all decided to all get together to celebrate her birthday. And we chose to go up to uh, Wintergreen, Virginia. It's a ski area resort. And we rented a house that we could all stay at for the weekend. And we were able to do some hiking. And it was a fun way to celebrate her 70th birthday. For work this year, it's been a lot of a lot of smaller projects, but I guess I would say that the, the biggest project I had this year was working on a, uh, a web documentary series for the uh, Robert Wood Johnson Foundation. And it was about culture and health. And it was an interesting project because we got thrown into some cultural groups of Bhutanese culture, illegal immigrants. So as a cameraman and director, it's kind of a really adrenaline rush to capture you know these really great images and imagery while everything's moving and all these moving parts and it was just a fun project and very rewarding. The collection of the other projects throughout the year is just a mix of all kinds of things from foodie, you know, videos, how to make a recipe, to gas pump parts, to tactical vehicle firearms training, all the way to being at the house of Corey Seager, baseball player for the Dodgers. And it was a live shot and the announcement came through that he indeed won the Rookie of the Year. And besides the glider, I've had another first this year and that was to go to the state of Montana. That's one of the only two states I haven't been to, but I was able to uh, go there for a production. Had a chance as a part of that week to go up into Glacier National Park and just see the incredible sights up there. I'm 13 now and I guess that's um, an accomplishment. I am a teenager. In October, I finally convinced my parents to give me purple hair, and I really love having purple hair. We were doing a fair photo contest for the Dixie Classic Fair, and that was my decision. I really wanted to do it, and my dad took me out to a mountain where we could take photos of the nature there, and we went on a hike. I ended up taking a lot of shots, and when I took a couple of them, entered it into the Classic Fair. I entered about five, and I got nothing for the first three when I checked them, but the last two I got two first places, and so I got $40. I like photography because I enjoy capturing moments of just small things, like magnifying a flower, and they're just there. You don't really experience it in real life. You, you just pass a flower and it's just there, but in a photo you can keep that flower. It's there forever, and it's just capturing experiences, and I just really like it. Um, I recently got my braces off, and I am so happy, finally, I got them all off. Now I have a retainer, but at least I got them off. Hooray! Since I was on crutches for most of the summer, I really was doing art a lot more because I had to stay still. I love my art, and it's great. Lizzie, I met her in, like, sixth grade. We've just been really close and doing a lot of things together. She went on a beach trip. It's great to have someone like that around. I still enjoy doing musical theater and I, in the spring, 
did Guys and Dolls, which I finished that, and I'm in the middle of doing Legally Blonde with Lizzie. In the summer, for around two weeks, me and Lizzie interned at the same drama center, and they, we did Cinderella, which was like five-year-olds to like eight-year-olds. They were really cute kids. It was a struggle to get them to do what you wanted, but once they realized and you praised them, they were amazing, and they were adorable, and I wanted to steal them. I am 10, and I'm in fourth grade. I went to Ted Paint and Ted Paint is really cool and they have a, a really scary banana slide and I rolled it and I actually did a zip line into the water. We had our bathing suits on and there was a little platform and I was on the platform with another girl who was freaking stilled as as still as I was. But that was my first zip line ever. I pushed off because I've been brave. And then I turned backwards, and then I went backwards into the water. So, like, all this water that I came like this to my face. And it was fun. And I also did Girl Scout, which was really fun. And we recently just did a Christmas parade. Our float was a fire truck, and all the Girl Scouts were little Dalmatians with little eels that we made. And of course, my dad had a snow machine, well it actually was bubbles, but he's a rental and he rented a snow machine. We were learning about manners, and we had a tea party, and my grandma went with me, and we learned how to like, hold the tea with like, your pink tea up. And we learned all that stuff, how to touch, how to chew with your mouth closed, all that manner stuff. And we had a tea party and I will be really pretty dressed. In third grade with Miss Tots, she gave all of us a little plant, and she said, oh, there's a cabbage drawing contest, and you can take this home and try to draw it for the contest. And I did, and it went humongous. Out of all the third grade, I drew the most, I drew the biggest cabbage. So my grandma has a bow, that's it, that says Bobo, and sometimes she rides it with us, so we went boating. My dad, um, he drives the boat always, and he likes to turn it really fast, and, uh, the, and we go up the waves and then down. And it's really fun. I am still doing a um, musical theater that I really enjoy. And right now, I'm doing Peter Pan. I'm a moment, and I finally have a line, finally. But I'm a nervous wreck, because my play is in January, and I'm really nervous. I actually recently picked up rock climbing and we just went to a rock climbing gym and I actually found this this um wall that was perfect for me. But you have this little you have a little harness and you have a rope that goes up and then your um partner which is my dad, he holds the rope so I could rock climb and then if I don't hire he will pull it down more. Oh yeah, we went to um Boone and we were tapping in a gigantic tent, tent and there was, we were right beside the river and it was so pretty and we also went on a zip lining tour that was really fun I was actually stared at first but then I got into it and and I was so light that I had to go with somebody but if I was too light so light that I would just stop in the middle of it and they were really long and really high and really fun. Living here in North Carolina we don't get a lot of snow but when we do, I want to have a big party. Well, at the beginning of the year, we got a really nice snowstorm. And my sister Hannah and Emma, I convinced them to come out for this snowstorm. Emma loved the snow, and we all loved the snow. And of course, Christopher built a ramp, and we just had a blast in that snowstorm. This year, we decided to go to Hannah's for Easter. We had so much fun going on Easter egg hunts, we colored eggs, and just had a wonderful time being together as a family. My girls and Emma have such a great time together and Emma just has a very special place in my heart. I love that little girl and she loves me and I'm happy to be with her any chance I can get. I'm part of a women's group and we talked this spring about trying to maybe go on a retreat together and we kind of looked around into it and then I was like, hey, my friend has a condo at the beach. What about if we went there? And so my dear friend Wendy thought that was a spectacular idea. And what was so awesome about this trip was that actually I have not gone away without my kids in a decade. And so I'm just so grateful to him to take care of our girls and um, for me to have that time away and to be with my friends and my dear sisters and, 
and it was awesome. I actually want to do it every year. I don't know if he's going to agree to that, but we'll see. Hannah and I had our yearly beach trip already planned. It just happened a couple weeks later. So we went back to the beach. She had Emma, I had my girls. We had Jackie, um, my niece, McKaylin's best friend, Lizzie. And I had a really bad feel about actually swimming in the waves. I was kidding and screaming and she's having me out. And then when my dog passed the waves, I, I, I bobbed on the waves and it was fun. We relaxed, we went putt-putt golfing, we ate tons of ice cream and we just had the best time together. So I am now a mother of a teenager. Please pray for me. Um, Kaylin, um had a really rough summer with her knee. She had a very easy knee operation to remove the growth plates out of her thigh because her thigh bones had, were equal now. Two weeks after that surgery, her knee became very infected. She got, started feeling very sick and I just didn't know what to do. My dear friend, Catherine, I had not talked to her in over a month. She called me that evening and said, Sarah, you're on my mind, you know, what's going on? And I told her and she said, I don't want you to panic, but I want you to put her in the car and I want you to drive her to the ER and I will meet you there. And she was an advocate for McKaylin and was just, I don't, I don't think I could have done it without her. So I did have a staph infection and multiple other infections. So I had another surgery to clean it out and ended up staying there for a couple days. And I was on crutches like the whole summer because of that. When I got back to school, I had to quit gym because it kept swelling. Now I'm doing physical therapy to get my knee stronger, just getting stronger every day. And it's easier to do the exercises that it doesn't swell up as much now. It's like rarely ever swells up. I've continued to do my pottery this year. I actually convinced Wendy, my dear friend, to take a pottery class with me. And that was really exciting. It was really awesome to kind of share my love and passion with pottery with, with her. I made so many pieces that I knew I had to start selling them. And so this, just a couple weeks ago for a little Christmas fair, I set up at the community center up the road. And what was really awesome was to see people's reaction to my pottery, that they loved it and, and wanted to buy it. Because it's like, I think with art, you create something that you think is beautiful, but it's really validating when other people see it as beautiful as well. In October, Alana and I went to Kentucky to help my mom get her house ready for the winter. The best part of that trip, besides spending time with my mom, was watching the girls play in Kentucky Lake. While we were there, Hannah and I decided to fly to Albany, New York and surprise my sister Emily for Halloween. She always throws the most amazing Halloween party. All of the cousins loved being together and we loved spending time with Emily and her family. This fall was pretty hard. Our dear friend Judy died of a rare lung disease and that was devastating. I remember when we moved here, we didn't know anybody. We didn't have jobs. I had a six month old baby. I was wondering like, well, I wonder who lives next to us. And so um, I cut through the yard and it was big bushes and I'm cutting through the bushes and I'm carrying McKaylin as a six month old baby and I knock on their door and Judy answered and I'm like, we're your new neighbors. My name's Sarah and this is my baby, McKaylin. And she invited us right in and we met her husband Clarence and, and their daughter Ryan. and. They just fell in love with McKaylin and we fell in love with them and they became our family here. They have attended every birthday party, every major holiday. I mean, she was a grandmother to my kids and she loved us with her whole heart. And I am so, so thankful that she was in our lives and we are very enriched by having her in our lives and she will definitely be missed. So, how? So, tell me about, tell me about your age. Talk in full sentences. Uh, well. Sit up straight. Well, I'm 13 now. Okay, Alana, you go out. And I went to the show to my mother's, my mom's arms, <laughs> and I was terrified. And my mom was tracking up at my aunt. She's laughing right now, beside the tail mark. <laughs> wow, what are you doing? 
Oh, me. <laughs> Stretch it. Hey, you're my shot. That's a toothache. Huh? That's a toothache. You're my shot. Yeah. I'm a, get out of the way. Ow. Hey. You're my shot. <laughs> Projects throughout a couple months, and it was just interesting. There's a stranger this walking through the background. And we had little bottle tops. I'm thirsty right now. And they were, um, are you sorry for the camera? She's sorry. But um, this is Iris. She's humongous. Hello. Why didn't do it? Yeah. Hello. Hello. That's Lizzie. Lizzie's come say hi. Say hi, I'm Lizzie. Hey, I'm Lizzie. I think that is all. You want to talk about climbing, rock climbing? You're kind of in our new, our new activity. Well, um, do I have to? One minute, then you're done. Um, she's adorable. That's awesome. Do you want to talk about um, wakeboarding? No. Do you want to talk about our camping trip? We went camping and zip lining and. Mm -hmm. Alright, it's recording. I want to try to be quiet, okay, Daddy's recording. Try to be quiet. He made me put down the paper because I kept rattling it. Drats. Mm. the amazing titty. <laughs> meow, 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 meow. She's so mad at me. <laughs> meow, 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 meow. <laughs> ah! Cat hair on oh, oh, for me. Bad titty. Right, I need to blow my nose. Right.